is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below seven of pentacles looks like you've invested a lot in a situation this doesn't look like something fresh to me <clears throat> definitely a long-term invested relationship and uh, you've come a long way with this person and right now you're re-evaluating the situation of how much you want to continue investing and how much you want to keep putting in within the relationship it's almost like at that in in or out kind of point okay because if you put a little more you know you're moving towards stability but probably it could also be that you know this could be a situation that was disappointing in the past but you still kept giving in you know thinking that things will come into fruition but right now you're at this uh, point of uh, having to wait for something okay you're patiently waiting for something to happen with the eight of pentacles here it looks like you know what i'm getting <clears throat> while patiently waiting for this right i think you're you're putting in the work in your own self okay you're working on yourself and you've put a situation on hold right now and you're working on yourself okay. eight of wands i think there is going to be quick progress okay looks like someone is probably going to come in and there is communication coming in with eight of wands here could be dealing with someone who lives at a distance from you. There could have been blocked communication, you know, or things could have been moving very slow. And that's something that's putting you in this seven of pentacles energy, waiting and watching, procrastinating. But things are going to move quickly, okay? This is going to be very unexpected. It's going to pick up pace. And with the nine of pentacles here, I feel like um, <coughs> you're practicing detachment. I'm getting detachment. I'm getting someone who's uh, very self-reliant, someone who's very financially independent. You have that practical sense of stability within yourself. You don't need anyone, okay? And probably you are, you are very happy at this point right now. Very happy, okay? And uh, because you are uh, okay on your own, probably because of the law of attraction, right? You let go of something. You've stopped investing in something. And because you've changed your focus on yourself now things are picking up okay this is um, passionate communication coming in <clears throat> nine of wands looks like you're going to be a little guarded with this yeah you you have trust issues when this communication comes in because you're very focused on yourself you're probably focused on commitment you're focused on something very valuable something that adds security you're very secure on your own but for you it's like you know what either i have something very secure something stable something valuable something worth it or that you know i'm not in for it your guards are up when this communication comes in you have trust issues and um yeah you're not ready to open up to this person you're not wanting to be vulnerable at this point you can see you're in this waiting energy out here and all of a sudden this communication comes in and things pick up and you're like what the hell See, you have a reconciliation, six of cups. Either this is, this is definitely a soulmate connection. Okay. So either this is your ex or this is someone from your past who you have good memories with, but someone's coming in and wanting to offer you some sensible conversation. This is someone who's wanting to provide you with something committed, something stable, something valuable. I guess you wanted that and you're getting it only because you stopped investing. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. But yeah, this is definitely a significant difference between you guys. Could be age, could be religion, could be um, uh, the way you guys have brought up, could be different cities, whatever. But there is a difference between you guys, but this is someone you've had the best of memories with, okay? This is your soulmate. You've been a strong soulmate connection to this person. But they're coming in with that communication, okay? I like the page of pentacles in love because it holds a value. It holds that stability. It's not emotional, it's not too logical, it's not just passion, but it's got that. It's got something, it, it's got that sense of reliability, you know, someone who, someone's not fooling around, they're serious about you, something like that. But there is going to be this communication that's coming in. Could be an apology that someone's coming in towards you, it could be a gift, but I'm getting more apology. But you're holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Why am I getting you, Libra, as someone who's holding back so much? You have like, you're not wanting to open up. There's something that you're holding on to. Page of Cups. 
it could also be the other way that this person is holding on to you because they hold you as someone very, very valuable. They see you as someone very valuable, you know, and they don't, they cannot let you go. They're not ready to let you go and they're coming in. They're coming in with their cup of love here and with the page of cups here, they're coming in with an apology. See, that's what I said. Page of pentacles, page of cups. There is communication coming in for sure. This is good news, but not only is that going to be uh, uh, something uh, stable and something solid, but also it's going to add on that tinge of emotions with it. This is someone who has a hard time opening up emotionally, but they're coming in with that emotional communication too. <clears throat> I think you on the other hand, see, this is what I'm getting with that energetic difference between you and this person, okay? There's one person here who's got that mature emotions, you know, someone who's, um, what did I say? Uh, someone who's mastered their emotions, you know, someone who's got that balance with it, within their head and heart, okay? Someone who is emotionally unavailable, is ready to open up now, okay? And this is a very reliable partner, a very empathetic partner, someone you can rely on. You know, and this could be you and you're probably dealing with someone who's like that page kind of energy, you know, someone who's very immature. But with the star here, you have a wish coming through. You have a wish coming through. Something very destined and fated, like a reconciliation. If you guys have broken up, you're in two minds about this. You're in two minds about this with the two of pentacles when the communication comes in. You're still uh, a little wishy-washy about this idea. Look, we have the page, dude. We have the page of pentacles, the page of cups, and now the page of wands. Definitely age difference between you guys. If not energetic difference, okay? You're too mature for this person. And this person now realizes that you're their soulmate and they're coming back, but you're like, I don't know. Or you could also be dealing with someone, you know, who's just a little guarded. They've gone through a lot in their life, you know, and now they're having a hard time opening up. <clears throat> you have a lot of love for this person. But um, I feel you're in two minds when this comes in, okay? The two of pentacles is someone wishy-washy, trying to weigh out the pros and cons, you know? Could be juggling two situations, could be wanting to, you know, think about whether you want to be in and out of this. But again, you have this communication, okay? This is someone who wants to try a new approach to this. Could be someone who's brand new in love, okay? Or someone who's just new to relationships or connections and they don't know how to go about with it. And probably you taught them how to love, and you left or you stop investing and now they realize what love is and now they're coming in with that very um, uh, beginner's level <laughs> is what I'd say. Someone at a very beginner level, you know. <clears throat> oh, damn. The lovers, see? Twin flame connection. Soulmate twin flame connection. No wonder you're going through this. Someone wants a reconciliation with you, okay? They want to revive this connection. I'm not going to revive. I don't think this is a connection that is dead. I'm getting someone who is awakening to this relationship, awakening to this connection more than relationship. With the six of cups and the lovers here. That is twin flame, right? That's badass. That's badass. This is someone who's probably even trying to come in full speed and now they're ready to, you know, if they've neglected you in the past, they're ready to give you the attention you need. They're trying to balance out the situation with you, okay? Probably this person had too much on their plate in the past, okay? And um, they couldn't give you attention. They were neglecting you every single time. But now I guess they're coming in like, let me balance this out. Work life, love life, balance, something like that. They're coming in to, you know, like, uh, like I'd say, I restore the balance between you, you and them. Maybe they were giving too much importance to uh, something else. Okay. Another situation could be work, could be friends, could be anything, their career, their goals. But now they're coming in. Now with the levels here, this is someone who says, I love you. I want you. And they want a reconciliation with you. This is a very, very deep connection. Okay. A very strong bond. Sometimes you probably won't even realize why this world is so strong, but I'm telling you it is because we have the levels here. We do. Ten of Wands. Why are you here? <clears throat> Someone needs time to think. Someone needs time to think. Someone's very overburdened with a lot of things. The Ten of Wands is the card of someone overburdened, okay? Or someone who feels that they are taking the um, burden of the entire relationship. They don't feel supported, okay? Emotionally burdened, etc. But it's a very draining energy out here. 
It could be that with the four of swords, there could have been a break between you guys, lack of communication. This person's thought about the entire situation could be that silence, you know, between you guys, that radio silence, you know, lack of action, and that's something that's putting this person in uh, under a lot of stress. And now they realize that they should be coming towards you, probably because you. I'm getting the entire game is because you stop investing into this person. You stop investing into this person. You your your emotions could have been a little up and down. You know, you could have gone through a roller coaster of emotions. But once you pulled back from this person, you finally got you you got to your senses. You got to your senses, and because of that, they got into their senses. Okay, and now they feel the need to come in and communicate with you and talk to you in every single way that they can, emotionally, passionately, uh, bringing instability, whatever. Wow, wow, Ten of Pentacles, someone wants commitment, damn Libra, you got this, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, they're releasing a situation, like I said, right, they're very burdened about the situation, they're coming in with that clarity, with that truth, okay, With they want to clear the air, they want to talk to you about, like, they want to tell you how it is and the clarity that is coming in is that this person wants marriage with you. They want something stable, committed, longevity. They want long term with you and they're going to tell you with the ace of swords. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Wow. Wow. The lovers, the six of cups, the ten of pentacles. I am loving it. How romantic is that? <laughs> They want marriage. At least they want to take things to a level of stability, okay? Probably even introduce you to their parents or at least make it very stable. I didn't ask the question. Sorry. What is the outcome for this week for Libra? What is the outcome for this week? Wait. This week for Libra in love? What is the outcome? Whoa. Come on. What is the outcome for Libra in love? <gasps> Fool. You're ready to be a fool, Libra. <laughs> You're ready to be a fool. Someone's ready to be a fool. Someone's ready to take that risk. Take that leap of faith and they want a brand new beginning with you. Okay, It's a new adventure. It's starting from ground zero. It's almost like forget what happened in the past. But this person is ready to trust again. If this person had issues in the past in a relationship, you know, where someone screwed their over, they had trust issues, etc., with the nine of wands here, could be they're re they're ready to let their guards down. They're ready to give it one last shot, and they want to take a leap of faith with you. Okay, they want to take this risk. Give me one more card for Libra. What is one more outcome card for Libra? Queen of Wands. They find you super sexy, attractive, badass. You're the shit. They're super heavily attracted to you. Okay, very attracted to you. And uh, they're coming in. They want this new beginning with you, okay? And not only would they want a new beginning with you, but they want that stability. They're in love with you. And um, they're missing you. They're coming back. They're holding on to you super tight, okay? They're not letting you go. They're not letting you go because they look at you as someone very, very valuable and they realize that what they will what they will lose if they let you go. But yeah, with the Queen of Wands, yeah, this is someone who is either taking action towards you, wanting the sleep of faith, or this is just how they look at you, okay? Someone very sexy, very attractive. You've got that passion, that go-getter energy, and they want to take this risk with you. New beginnings coming up with stability. I like that. I like that. Libra, that was a nice reading. I'm so glad I did your reading again. I did another reading, and I didn't really like it. It was a little off, so I did it again. I am loving it. Alright guys, I hope this reading resonates with you. Do like, trust, subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.